the only security you really had in these places if you were near to someone you know well and, and love. And um, it is, I think it is perhaps at this point for me to say that if I would not have been with my aunt and sister, particularly sister who was always a very positive person, who kept both my aunt and me going, and she never gave in, only at the very end. She always said, you will, you will go and uh, wash yourself and you will get up. And through sickness, through my sickness, which lasted right through, from Riga onwards, I very suddenly, very drastically went down in health. And she put up with all this and encouraged me. And there's no way in the world that I would have been able to survive on my own. And in fact, very few people who were left on their own did, but many who had either mother or father or sister or brother, uh, they had a much better chance. It was horrible, horrible, to such an extent that I, I wanted to go to touch the electrifying fences and do away with myself. And then the words, when I was on, on my way, the words of my father came into my mind. Never lose hope, my child. We had to persevere, we had to try and build yourself in the hope that you'll never give up.